you have just come from my bullet journal 2017 setup video, then hello once again. But if you haven't, then hello for the first time. Um, you should probably go check out that video. It's linked in the description box below. In this video though, I'm going over some new pages that I've done for my student bullet journal portion of my journal. As you can see, I've split up my journal into two parts and the second half is going to be where my very specific pages for student planning um, are going to be located. I'm constantly overwhelmed by the love that my previous student bullet journal videos have been shown. I will link all of them in the description box below, the two, two of them, I think there's two. Uh, so this will be installment number three. Some of the pages I've simply revamped. I think there's one specifically new page. There's also going to be a printable offered in this video. So uh, let's just get started with page number one, which is my timetable for 2017. Now this semester I specifically did not fill in this timetable because last time I wasn't able to show you my full timetable because I didn't want everyone knowing where I was going to be at all hours of the day for the next four months, so uh, I kept it blank, but it essentially works in the same way that my last timetable uh, worked, but this time I made it vertical rather than horizontal. So I have my hours from 8 to 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, all here, so if you have a longer day it's easy to add numbers or remove numbers. Uh, and I will just color in the boxes whenever I have a class and write the class name right beside it. This was a system that really worked well for me last year or last semester, so I'm excited to use it again in a slightly different way. A kind of new page this year is my master syllabus. Last semester I did more of a calendar format, which is similar to what I have over here. Um, but I just kind of wanted more of a bullet point look here uh, to make it really easy. Not that this wasn't easy, but I don't know, I just wanted something a little bit different. I have five sections for each of my five courses and plenty of room to write down all the main assignments. Typically I have my syllabuses printed out and uh, put into this like master uh, binder, school binder, where I put all my tests and any grades I receive. I, I organize it all into this one binder and it works, but um, when I have to look at different due dates for multiple courses, I just end up like flipping back and forth all the time. So I think having it in one spot will make it really convenient for me. Then we've got page number three here, which is my January study log. Last semester, I used a study log system that tracked how many hours I was studying for each course, which was great, but I just wanted to make things a little bit easier on myself and track how many hours I'm studying in general. So I created two little line graphs for days 1 to 15 and days 16 to 31. On my y-axis, I have the hours studied, which to be honest, these are poor, poorly made graphs because they're not labeled. So I, I will probably do that after I film this video. But um, this is hours studied. I have 0 to 6 plus. Believe it or not, there are days where I have to study for 6 plus hours in addition to class. Those are days that I usually do not like university. Days where I spend 0 hours studying, I usually really love but also regret. And this area right here is the sweet spot. My January title was created with a Tombow. And uh, actually all the black that you are seeing isn't done with my Faber-Castell pen, which is usually is the case. I actually used a new pen this month, which is the Micron pen in size 05 and 01 in the color black. I really loved using these pens to create these pages, so you'll probably hear me talking about them a lot more throughout the year. A fun development this year in my second year in my business course was that I had group projects for three of my courses, which meant I had to coordinate with about 15 people's schedules this year, uh, or last semester, and it was not fun. I enjoyed the group projects, but it was not fun trying to figure out like when we could get together, and oh, I don't know. Group projects are no joke, folks. But I am going to make next semester a little bit easier on myself with this group project planner page. I have a section for the assignment title, the due date, a section to keep track of group members' names, email, and phone numbers. I should actually also add a section for student number here because when you submit projects, you also need to submit your student number, which is kind of like your identity with your school. So that may be a nice little addition there when I make this page again. Uh, I have a section for tasks that we have to do for the project. There's a section for meeting notes and also meeting times so I know when we are getting together next. Now for this page, because I thought it may come in handy for those of you who are in university, I created a, a 
printable page on my blog, which is uh, linked in the description box below. I actually really like this one even more than the one in my planner, so I may even use this sometimes. But it's the same format, exact same format, uh, except the title I did with a Tombow. So if you like this, that is available on my site. Hopefully it is of some use to some of you. And then we are moving on to my last two pages, which consists of my readings page and a fun little quote to make me forget about my struggles. My readings page is just a section where I put week one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, I may have to add more weeks to another page uh, as I go through go through the semester. But it's just a section for me to write all of my readings for all five of my courses. So even though it does seem like a small section, there's plenty of room here to write down everything that I need to read. I love making lists and scratching out things that I do, so this will be quite satisfying to see how many things I've crossed out throughout the semester. And then to the right here, I finished off with this fun quote that says, stressed, spelled backwards, is desserts. I'm so prone to being stressed over the most minuscule things when it comes to school and it's one of the qualities that I hate most about myself and I really want to work on this year is to be a little bit more zen, chill out a bit because honestly all this school stuff as much as it seems like it matters and not to say that it's not important to do well in school but if you don't do so well on a test or in a course it isn't the end of the world. It doesn't define you. I'm getting a little inspirational here just to kind of motivate myself because next week I go back and I need to remind myself, Caitlin, that, yo, it's just school. Chill. Chill and have a cupcake. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this little update, um, student bullet journaling update. If there's any pages that you want to see me revamp or redo in the smaller bullet journal format, then let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know if there's any printables you want to see. That is definitely a goal for 2017 to be creating more printables because uh, I know they are super useful to many of you out there. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I will see you guys very soon with new bullet journal and non-bullet journal videos so stay tuned for that and until then, bye everyone. Toodles! Ooh, what an exciting finish.